Hey everybody, it's Mumbo here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic City. Today we've got an ice cream parlor, as well as an ice cream truck in a module form here. Uh, so eventually one day, I would love to get this into the full city, of course. Uh, and if you have any more Scrap Mechanic City suggestions, then make sure you put them down in the comments below. So let's get right into it, shall we? We're gonna start off with the ice cream truck right here, and then head on inside to the ice cream parlor. Uh, we'll get to see some of the details and different things that I added. Uh, so let's check out this truck, shall we? So you can see I have just this one-sided door right here, uh, with one single seat for the driver. And right here, I, I finally started using lights in some more obscure ways, so this was a fantastic opportunity to use some lighting in unconventional ways. Uh, so I put it on the side of the serving window here at the ice cream truck. Uh, as you can see, there's some nice clearance here on the suspension over the wheel hub. Uh, lots of room to turn, and it does handle extremely well, actually. So on this side over here, you can see that it has the ice cream sign on it, of course, so you know it's ice cream. And if you didn't notice already, there is the ice cream cone up on the top there, uh, as well as one on top of the ice cream parlor, uh, but I figured I'd put this one as like the pinkish color uh, to kind of cross the, uh, the color themes here. But let's hop inside to this ice cream truck. Uh, so it's pretty spacious, you can see there's the seat right there with a couple controls. And then over here, this is the ice cream serving area. As uh, so you can see right here, you can open up this door and grab some ice cream here. And there's also the scoopable kind, uh, you know, a little bit of a freezer, I guess. Uh, and then right here, this is where you'd be serving. Uh, I didn't make like a window that could open or shut, but I did put this window right here, which is like simulating that it's halfway open so you can actually serve the customers here. So overall, I mean, this build is really cool. I'm really happy with the, the way it turned out. Uh, you can see up here, uh, this has the AC unit as well for the freezers inside. So let's take it for a bit of a spin here on this bit of road that I've added. Uh, so you can see I can shut the door with the switch there, and I can press the 3 key and that will turn the lights on, and then number 2 right there is just a little bit of a horn. Now one thing I did want to add was some music to it, uh, but I didn't really have the time and I'm not really good at that kind of stuff. Uh, so if anyone does have like a music module maybe that I could use that fits in a truck, that would be impressive and I would love to try and make some type of little jingle for this thing. But as you can see, it does handle pretty well. It's not extremely fast, uh, but it definitely gets around the city. Uh, I mean, it does have a little bit of a wide turn right there, but usually uh, if you have some speed, you can actually turn pretty sharp. But it never really falls over, which is kind of surprising, because usually uh, vehicles tend to fall over, especially when they're extremely tall like this one. But that there is the ice cream truck, and now we're just gonna head on into the ice cream parlor. So actually, I'll quickly go around the outside here. You can see there is a seating area outside for the summer heat. You know, you catch some rays and hang out here and eat your ice cream with a garbage can to put your garbage in. And then here, I just kind of added some old-timey lighting kind of fixtures here uh, with some steel rod, you can imagine. And of course, here's the ice cream sign with the ice cream cone on top. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And if you can't notice, uh, it actually is slanted a little bit. So you can see that this doesn't quite line up to it, but it does go up right against it, so it does look really nice. So let's head on in, shall we, and get some ice cream. So there's some pretty nice swinging doors here, and they will shut automatically. And of course, you can open it from the inside as well. Uh, but you'll see that they do just shut like that, like a swinging door. And for the first time, I started adding some doors, really because I wanted to add door knobs, and that's part of my favorite thing of these little details. So I'll actually just quickly show you guys, now that I'm looking at it, this doorknob. See how I press the button, and then the doorknob turns? I think that's a really neat effect, and if you couldn't color the bearings, it wouldn't look as nice. So here is the inside of the ice cream parlor. I went with a very lighted motif here. You can see there's loads of lighting, uh, but I did turn the lights down so it wasn't too bright. Uh, but you definitely see that it's like a nice clean ice cream parlor with a pretty wide range in the menu up there. I mean, I guess they're probably all the same thing because they all look the same to me. 
And then here, I this is an interesting part. I, I don't know how to explain it, but I put like a 45 degree wedge piece here and then turned it on a 45 so that I could have glass coming out at an angle, uh, but not like an angle on the front here. So you can see it's the wedge piece. So the bearing does show a little bit, uh, but the way the glass turned out overall looks really nice. So let's go around back. Alright, there we go. We will shut the door behind us here and use the doorknob. Alright, so this is just the cache area right here. Uh, one thing that was pretty neat actually is uh, this one right here is connected to the, uh, the doors right there. So I just kind of threw it in here to kind of add a little bit more detail. And right here, this switch is just for the outside lighting of the cache, uh, the cache register up there. So here it is out back behind the serving area. You can see that there's a bunch of different flavored ice creams you can imagine. Uh, big tubs of them of course, so you have loads of customers coming in. And then over here, this is like the smoothie bar or you can make milkshakes as well with the ice cream. Uh, so if I press this light right here, it'll turn on the lights here. And you can see we have some toppings and some different fillings for the smoothies. You can change the flavors up. And right here, this is the mixing machine. So you press that and it comes out to the center and it'll stir that thing right up nice and frothy. And you put it away, there you go. And you can bring it on down here and serve it to your customer. So I love I love this area. This is like whole entrance way here. You can see I even put a whole bunch of lights up on the top here. Uh, just how bright it is, it makes it seem very clean. So let's head on to the back room, shall we? So there's not too much going on right here. Um, this right here is just like a back door. You can see there's another doorknob here. Uh, and that back door just leads you to an exit here. So you would have like a dumpster here, which would connect to more roads back there. And shut that door. So this part here, this is very interesting. I wanted to make it very store-like. So in the back room here, this is where the staff would be, of course. And you can actually press all of these switches right here. It's kind of hard to do without the crosshair. There we go. And now if I open this door up and head outside, you'll see that all of the lights are off now. So you can essentially kind of shut down the shop for overnight, you know? So the, the, the day is done, you shut all the doors, you turn all the lights off, and you head on home for the night. So I think that's a nice touch of detail. I don't know why I turned those lights back on. And then this is my favorite part. So this here is the freezer. So you of course would need a really big deep freeze for in here. As you can see, there's all sorts of extra ice creams as well as uh, all the ventilation used to keep the freezer cold. And I put these lights up here. I wasn't too sure how I liked it, but then I kind of thought of like those fluorescent lights that you would see in real life. Uh, so I figured, you know what, that's a really nice effect for like a ceiling light. And all it is is the lights, uh, the strip lighting put like side by side. So overall, I'm extremely happy with the turnout of the ice cream parlor, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I want to say before I go that I have a whole bunch of room left in this section right here. So you can see there's an area right here, another one right there, and a fourth spot over there. So I want you guys to put in the comments some suggestions for more food items, and I can make three more in this area, and we'll end up having a really cool city module that's going to be a whole bunch of food places. So I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say, and I'm really excited to start building them as well. Uh, so that's pretty much it for me guys in this episode. I'm sorry it wasn't the biggest kind of update for this city, but it was definitely a lot of fun, and I think what took the most time was all the details that I was adding. Uh, so thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then make sure you hit that like button, and of course subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic, and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye for now.